वेलकम टू वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स बेसिस बेस वैल्यूज क्लासेस वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द स्ट्रक्चरल कीज ऑफ द गणित सूत्र दीज स्ट्रक्चरल कीज और प्रिजर्व इन द वैल्यूज एंड फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ सिक्सटीन लेटर्स ऑफ द टेक्स्ट ऑफ गणित सूत्र वन गणित सूत्र वन एका अधिकेन पूर्वे इज ए कंप्लीट स्क्रिप्चर दिस स्क्रिप्चर इज ए कंपोजिशन ऑफ सिक्सटीन स्टेप्स दीज स्टेप्स आर पैरल टू वैल्यूज एंड फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल सिक्सटीन लेटर्स ऑफ द टेक्स्ट ऑफ गणित सूत्र वन दीज सिक्सटीन लेटर्स आर ए का ध इ का ए न आ पा उ रा ए आ दीज सिक्सटीन लेटर्स एक्सेप्ट एसोसिएशन ऑफ ट्रांसडेंटल कोड वैल्यूज सिक्स फोर टू सेवन टू फोर सिक्स एट वन फाइव सिक्स थ्री सेवन सिक्स सेवन वन we shall make specific entries in our tcb dictionary that kanita sutra 1 ek adhikain purve is a complete scripture this scripture is of 16 steps 16 processing steps are there these 16 processing steps are parallel to values and formats of 16 letters being availed for composition of him sutra ekadhikain purve the first letter a of tcb value 6 is the structural key of ganita sutra 1 itself the ganita sutra 1 with its structural key 6 at next step takes us to value 4 6 is parallel to 6 space 4 is parallel to 4 space 6 space is presided by lord vishnu over lord of 6 space and 4 space takes to lord brahma the over lord of 4 space let us have a pause here and recapitulate that sthapatya mairing rod mairing rod is presided by lord vishnu while mayor of this mairing rod is presided by lord brahma at next step we can see that the value is 2 therefore the structural keys internal organization and coordination as per the structural format of gita sutra 1 itself of structural key 6 takes us 6 to 4 then takes to 2 this means that from 4 we are reaching at value 2 means 2 space and it is this 2 space which is apa these are the waters liquids flow formats lord vishnu has its seat in apas over vasuki nag this now is heavy Seven hoods, and as such, the next step will be of value seven. We stop it here for this flow. Then we take it that the second value four is a four space. Now here in Vedanta Sutra one, 
in this coordination of this scripture of this flow 16 steps that six space is a domain and four space is a dimension however when we will come to the second sutra niklim navasta charma madashata this is a complete scripture it is ganita sutra 2 ganita sutra 2 is is parallel to second letter of ganita sutra 1 of value 4 is the structural key here the role of 4 is as a domain let us recapitulate that we had visited in the previous lecture that the reach from A to Ka within Gita Sutra 1 is a reach from 6 spaces domain to 4 spaces a dimension. However, the reach from Gita Sutra 1 to Gita Sutra 2 takes us from 6 as a domain to 4 as a domain. Let us have a pause here that in Ganita Sutra 1 with 6 as a structural key at next step within the struct processing steps of Ganita Sutra 1 we reach from 6 to 4 as from 6 space domain to 4 space as a dimension. However, when the second letter Ka with value 4 becomes a structural key of Ganita Sutra 2 then here the role is of a domain. Ganita Sutra 1 is a scripture in its complete scripture like that Ganita Sutra 2 as well is a complete scripture. Let us make an entry in our TCV dictionary that Eka Adhikena Purve is a scripture of 16 letters. There are 16 processing steps. Then when we go to the mathematics of Ganita Sutra 2, Niklim Navasta Charmam Dashata is a complete scripture. It becomes of 28 steps. Let us tabulate in our TCB dictionary that this sutra, Niklim Navasta Charmam Dashata, is a scripture of three phases, Niklim, Navasta Charmam and Dashata. These phases are of 7, 14 and 17 steps parallel to 7 letters composition Nikhilim, 14 letters composition Navasta Charmam and 7 letters composition Dashata. At next step as we have capitulated earlier that we have to associate the values with the individual letters. In case of Grita Sutra 1, we, we had reached at the range of values 6, 4, 2, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 5, 6, 3, 7, 6, 7, 1. It gives us a submission value 75. So it can be said that Ganita Sutra 1 with structural key 6 of 16 processing steps takes us to 75 as a value. 75 is the summation value of this range of 16 values. 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 7 reaching up till 7 plus 1 make, gives us a summation value 75. Like that when we will be reaching we will be tabulating the individual values of Niklim Navasta Charamam let us make an entry, let us tabulate in our TCB dictionary that it will be sequentially taking us to the values 8 for this letter, 2 for the next letter, then 2 for the next letter, then again 2 for the next letter, then 5 for the next letter, 1 for the next letter, and 9 for the next letter. These are 7 letters which compose the formulation Miklim, these takes us to these sequential values. Like that, it will be a blissful exercise to reach at the transcendental code values. Let us tabulate the transcendental code values of Navasta Charma, and then let us tabulate the TCV values of Dashata. 
and then let us have an addition of it and we'll see that we are getting 107. Make a tabulation that Galita Sutra 1 with first letter A is of structural key 6 of 16 processing steps leading to value 75. Galita Sutra 2 is preserving a structural key in the second letter of Galita Sutra 1 of value 4 as 4 space of 28 process, letters, 28 processing steps leading to value 107. Therefore, here we should have, again have a pass that parallel to Galita Sutras are the Galita Upsutras. There are 16 Galita Sutras and there are 13 Galita Upsutras. This gives a summation value 29. This 29 <coughs> is a value parallel to TCV Brahma. Lord Brahma is the overlord of four space. It is an overlord of a four space. Lord Brahma is a formulation of value 29. This range of 16 sutras and 30 loop sutras makes a structure of four space. Therefore, it is within four space as creators the space that this organization, this structural organization is manifesting itself. Let us make an entry in PCB dictionary that the text of Galita Sutras along with text of Galita Upsutras as a set of 29 hymns, 29 sutras is a manifestation within a creator's space, within four space. Let us further have a pause here and take note that Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Upsutra 1, this is of 16 processing steps and this is of 10 processing steps. Anurupe is Ganita Sutra 1. Anurupe the text of Grita Up Sutra 1 is of 10 letters. Therefore, Grita Sutra 1 and Ganita Up Sutra 1 together make a set of 26 letters, 26 processing steps. We can have a pause here and take note that the 26 and 28 together make a pairing such that 26 is in the role of a dimension while 28 is in the role of a domain. This will help us appreciate as that how the mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Sutras are complementing and supplementing each other and further as that it is unfolding from within more and more folds. Many 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 folds are being folded and many of the knots are being transcended. It is this inner organization of the text of Ganita Sutras. It is this inner unfolding process of Ganita Sutras which deserves to be learned, which it deserves to be comprehended, it deserves to be appreciated. And it is with appreciation of this that we shall be in a position to understand that the Ganita Sutras mathematics is going to be a very rich range of, very blissful range of these systems. It is this blissful range of systems which are to be understood, which are to be appreciated. It is only with the appreciation of this organization that we will be coming face to face with the richness of the mathematics of Ganita Sutras. For it, we can appreciate it that the reach from Ganita Sutra 1 On the one hand is to be to Ganita Sutra 2 and the other hand it is to be to Ganita Up Sutra 1. The gap between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 it is going to be bridged by Ganita Up Sutra 1. Ganita Sutra 1 with text 
स्ट्रक्चरल की सिक्स गणित सूत्र टू विद स्ट्रक्चरल की फोर विल बी ब्रिज्ड दिस गैप इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रिज्ड बाय अनुरूपे the Ganita Sutra 1 with its first letter being of value 2. Let us have a pause here. Let us sit comfortably. Let us comprehend it that the gap between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2, this gap is being bridged by Ganita Up Sutra 1. One may have a pause here and further take that a reach from Ganita Sutra 2 to Ganita Sutra 3 as well is going to be of value, reach of value 6 to 4 to value 2. It is this value 2 which has gone in sight, which has bridged the gap between Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 is also going to be filled by Ganita Sutra 3. Let us have a pause here. Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras together make a complete text. Mathematical domain of Ganita Sutras as such is a mathematical domain of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras. Ganita Sutras are 16 in number. Ganita Upsutras are 13 in number. The gap between the mathematical domain of Ganita Sutra 1 and mathematical domain of Ganita Sutra 2 is filled and bridged by the mathematics of Ganita Sutra 1. Ganita Sutra 1 is a text of 16 letters. Ganita Sutra 1 is a text of 10 letters. Ganita Sutra 2 is a text of 28 letters. This gap of 26 to 28 is going to be a reach straight from domain from dimension to domain here Ganita Sutra 1 gives a reach from 6 to 4 as a reach from domain to dimension the value of this value 26 to 28 gives us a reach from 28 as a domain to 26 as dimension. Let us have a pause here. It is this pair of orientations organization. It is this pair of orientations organization of the text of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras as complementary and supplementary system is of such features, such beautiful features, such blissful features that this preserves the pair of orientations. Going from 6 to 4 is going from 6 as a domain to 4 as a dimension. And going from 28 to 26 is a going from 28 as a domain to 26 as dimension. And it is this pair of orientations which is possible only because of the intervening value 2, the gap 2. It is a spatial dimension. Therefore, the mathematics of Kalita Sutras, the Vedic mathematics as such, becomes the mathematics of a spatial order. It is this spatial order which distinguishes it, which makes it at an upper platform than that of the linear mathematics. The simple rendering for the formulation Ekadhikin Purve as such is one more than before. One more than before. Therefore, the if we look at these propositions, we'll see the if this is taken to be the first, then this becomes the subsequent. If we start from here, this becomes the first and it becomes the subsequent. Therefore, one more than before. One is more than zero as unit one. One more than before is zero. Zero is a prior stage than that one. We will coming to when we will be working out the details of the mathematics, the 
practical mathematics, the applied values of mathematics, applied values of this thing, then we will come to it. But this gives us as such that Ekadhikem Purve gives us a sequential progression. Make an entry in the TCV dictionary that the sequential progression is the value, working value, processing value, applied value of Ekadhikem Purve. It is called interpretation. It is called a working rule. It is called a processing step. What is the processing step of Ganita Sutra 1? It is sequential progression. And Anurupen, it simply means following the form as it is. It is a symmetry. It is a proportional symmetry. Therefore, sequential progression plus the symmetry that the mathematics progresses, the mathematics of Ganita Sutras progresses. Sequential progression plus symmetry fulfills the gap and we reach at Ganita Sutra 2. The simple meaning of Ganita Sutra 2 is all from 9 and last from 10. It is a reaching at 10 place value system. Therefore, Ganita Sutra 1 gives us a mathematics of the sequential progression and Ganita Sutra 2 takes us to 10 place value system. Now, 10 place value system, when is having an intervening availability of Anurupe, the gap in between of Ganita Sutra 1, then whole range of place value systems automatically follow from this format. Let us have a pause here and let us take note that the Ganita Sutra's mathematics is a mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras. Let us make an entry in our TCV dictionary that mathematics of Ganita Sutras is the mathematics of Ganita Sutras together with the mathematics of Ganita Upsutras. Let us make the second entry as that the Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras are complementary and supplementary to each other. Let us make the third entry as that a reach from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 is bridged by Ganita Upsutra 1. Therefore, the Ganita Upsutra 1, while bridges it, so a reach from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2, as such is going to be the reach of Ganita Sutra 1 together with the reach of Ganita Upsutra 1. Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Upsutra 1 as such together complement and supplement each other and make a system. Therefore, while we will be reaching from pure values to applied values, then we will be taking up Ganita Sutra 1 together with Ganita Upsutra 1 and both these will be making a mathematics, a progressive mathematics, applied values mathematics, a blissful mathematics, a reach of Ganita Sutra's values mathematics. What is going to be the reach of the values of Vedic mathematics? Then that reach is going to be attained by working simultaneously by complementing Ganita Sutra 1 with Ganita Sutra 1. That means it is a sequential progression together with symmetry. So symmetry and sequential progression when both values are taken together when these values are augmented, when these are supplemented, and when these are made as a working processing system, then we will be having a reach of the values of mathematics. The reach of values of Vedic mathematics is going to be attained by approaching Ganita Sutras together with Ganita Sutras. By taking that, Ganita Sutra 1 is supplemented, complemented, augmented with Ganita Sutra 1 then it bridges these gaps that there doesn't remain any gap in between the mathematics of Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2. A reach from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 as such is having a gap, but this gap is bridged by the mathematics values of Ganita Sutra 1. Therefore, let us tabulate that the integrated mathematical domain of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras is of 29 steps. 
1 to 29 steps are to be taken in continuity and in a sequential order, then it makes a mathematical domain of Ganita Sutra and Anup Sutra. If we are remaining only from 1 to 16, then we will be only working out the principles, the axioms, the postulates, but the working rules will follow. Now, let us see the difference. The value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, then 14, 15, and 16. Let us see how many are the factors. It has one factor, it has one factor, it has one factor, it has two factors. 1, 2 factors, 1, 3, 2 factors, 2 factors, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, and 4. These make 29. See, the values range 1 to 16 gives us 29 factors. These values range 1 to 16 are essentially the coordination of artifices of the values of Ganita Sutras 1 to 16. The 29 factors which bring in 13 factors, these 13 factors of the range 1 to 16 ultimately become the artifices coordination of the values of Ganita Sutras. How the values of Ganita Sutras and values of Ganita Sutras are coordinated, how these are supplemented, how these are augmented, how these are to be sequentially interlinked, how these integrate the whole domain, there doesn't remain a gap. How there doesn't remain a gap between a pure and applied values. It doesn't remain a gap between the axioms, the postulates and the working steps. It doesn't take, it makes a self-integrated domain. Therefore, the self-integrated domain of mathematics of Ganita Sutras is reached by complementing and suppling it, supplementing it with Ganita Up Sutras. Ganita Sutras and Ganita Up Sutras together make a value 29. This value 29 is parallel to the factors of the values range 1 to 16. And this value 29 is the TCV value of the formulation Brahma, the creator, the supreme. Therefore, students of Vedic Mathematics, Science and Technology shall sequentially reach the mathematics of Ganita Sutras as pure values together with its applied values by complementing and supplementing and augmenting it together with the Ganita Sutras. And when we have to make an integrated domain of the mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Sutras together, then we have to start from Ganita Sutra 1 together with Ganita Sutra 1 and then we have to reach at Ganita Sutra 2. Likewise, then when we have to proceed further, we will take Ganita Sutra 2 along with Ganita Sutra 2 and thereafter we will reach at the mathematics of Ganita Sutra 3. Simultaneously, we also have to have a reach from Ganita Up Sutra 1 to Ganita Up Sutra 2. So, Ganita Sutra 1, Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Up Sutra 1, Ganita Sutra 2 to Ganita Up Sutra 2, then this diagonal coordination is also to be there, and this coordination is also to be there. It is this way that we Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Up Sutra 1. Here when we reach to Ganita Up Sutra 2 to Ganita Up Sutra 2, then we also have to reach from here to here, here to here, and here to here as well. So from here, the reach is going to be threefold. It is to be have this triangle. And why will we will be working this? Working this diagonal will be real challenge. It, but it is going to be a very blissful way. Therefore, when we will be reaching at a square, then we will be covering both the arms and the diagonal. Likewise, when we will be at the format of a cube, a three-space body, here in each corner point, we will be embedding a 
three dimensional frame. It is this field. It is being reached as R1, it is being reached as R2 as a pair. 2 is being reached as 1 plus 1, but 2 is being not reached as an independent artifice as a, which makes it a prime. It becomes the even prime. It becomes the only even prime. It makes the first prime. It makes the even prime. It makes the only even prime. And it is this transition from length to area. It is this transition from the format of a line to the format of a surface. It is this transition from linear dimensional order of a three space to spatial dimensional order of quadruple spatial dimensions of four space, which is to be glimpsed. It is to be appreciated. It is to be comprehended. It is to be imbibed if we want to have a transition from the existing mathematical mind of a linear format to Vedic mathematical mind of a spatial dimensional order. We will be reaching from three space to four space and this four space is going to be of a spatial order. It is going to be a real four space. Real four space is different than a space time model of four space. Time here dimension is of different features and therefore three dimensions become of different values and format. One becomes of a different value and format. But here in case of Vedic mathematics, four space, R4, the real four space is a geometric space. It is a real geometric space in which it's all the four dimensions are of equal values, equal features, equal format, and one dimension is not distinguishable from another dimension and each dimension is a spatial and the dimensional frame of four space becomes quadruple spatial dimensions which give us a value 2 raised to power 4, 16 and as such we reach back from Garita Sutra 2 to Garita Sutra 1. It is this reach from Garita Sutra 2 to Garita Sutra 1 which makes it that we are taking it that GS1 is previous, it is Purve and it is Ekadiken. Therefore, Ekadiken Purve in one orientation takes us from west to east and in second orientation it takes us from east to west and Ved as a Vrit. The TCV value of Ved is 20. TCV value of Vrit is also 20 and 20 is a transcendence of a pair of transcendental domains of zero order. Therefore, we have to reach how to progress, how to proceed along the circumference by availing only the diameter Vyas, then we will be reaching in this quarter from east to north as the formulation Uttar is of TCV value 16. Therefore, here the applied values will are sequentially taking us to a domain of a real force space in which the sun as a six space body is availing force space as a dimension. Force space as a domain to force space as a dimension will be taking us from Ganita Sutra 2 to Ganita Sutra 1. Therefore, if the starting point is Ganita Sutra 2, and we have to reach from here to Ganita Sutra 1. And also we have to reach from here to Ganita Sutra 3. It is this reach from 4 to 6 and 2. So therefore, a reach from 4 to 6 and to 2 is makes it a popular diagram, popular picture, popular depiction of Lord Vishnu having a seat upon the water bed and Vasuki Nok of seven hoods is making a bed. Water bed as the bed of Vasuki Nok is the way when we will be reaching ahead at the fourth step of value seven. It will taking us to origin. How from domain to dimension, to dimension of dimension, and ultimately reach at top. We can have a pause here and recapitulate that 
letter dha is of placement ta, tha, da, and dha. It is an origin fold placement and it is four space as dimension. It is this reach which is to be appreciated. Therefore, students of Vedic Mathematics, Science and Technology shall from today onwards have a fresh look at the organization format and of the mathematics of Ganita Sutra and the Zup Sutras, taking it that Ganita Sutra 2 is the starting point. From Ganita Sutra 2, we have to reach back to Ganita Sutra 1 and also from Ganita Sutra 2, we have to reach to Ganita Sutra 3. It is this twofold flow from the middle on both hands and towards both hands is the processing step which shall be the actual first working processing process steps of the applied values of Vedic mathematics. Thank you very much.